I'm Michelle Phillips, a Google for Education certified trainer. In this video, we're going to go over the Google Drive skills needed to be successful on the Google Educator exams, both level one and level two. The different skills needed include creating and opening files, organizing your files, uploading files, converting your files, and knowing how to share with others. To create files in Google Drive, you can go to the new button and then you can upload existing documents or you can create new ones by choosing what type of document you want to create. To open an existing file, you can right click on that file and choose what you want to open it with or you can just double click the file. A good way to organize your, all of your files are into folders. Go to the blue new button, choose folder, and then you can title your, your folder. Folders are listed up here at the top. If you want to file in a specific folder, you can open that folder and then upload a file into that folder, or you can upload an entire folder. If it's already in your drive, you can click and drag it into the specific folder you want it to be in. Or if the file's in another folder and you want to move that, you can right click on it and choose the move to. You can also move a file when it's open by choosing File, Move To. And then you can choose the folder that you want it to be in. If someone has shared files or folders with you, if you go to the Shared With Me tab, you can then right click on those documents and you can add them to your drive. When you click Add to Drive, you will get to choose where you want it to be placed. You can click Organize, and then choose the folder you want it to be in. You can upload Microsoft documents into your drive by clicking new, file upload, and then choosing the Word document or my other Microsoft document on your computer. But you may notice that you will see the W. This file is still in the Microsoft format and is not easy to edit. If you right click on the document, you can then choose open with and create a Google Doc which will then give you two copies of the same document. One will be the doc and one will be the Microsoft Word. One way to stop this from happening is to go to your settings menu, click the box that says convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. Anytime you upload new files, they will automatically change into Google Docs format. But don't worry, if you ever need them back in the Microsoft format, in case you're sharing them or sending to someone, you can choose the file menu and then download them back as the original formatted file. To share a file, you can have the file open and choose the blue share button, or you can right click on the document and choose share. You can share it with specific people by email if they're in your domain, you'll, their name should appear as you start typing their name. You can then choose whether they can edit, just comment, or can view the documents. You also have advanced features. When you choose specific people, they will be listed here, but it's only accessible by those people you share it with, unless you change it from private. You can keep it off for just specific people. You can turn it on so that anyone in, pro in your domain that has the link can open it. You can have it on so that anyone in your domain can search for it and find it. You can turn it on so that anyone in or out of your domain with the link can open it. Or you can have it public on the web where it can be searched. Folders can also be shared the same way. You can right click on the folder and then click the share button. When you share a folder, everything that goes inside that folder defaults to whatever sharing permission the folder has. You can also go to the top when it's open and right click and you can go to the share button from there as well. Let's review the Google Drive skills covered in this video. We created files, we opened files, you can now organize your files into folders, you know how to upload files. We talked about converting Office files to Google format. We looked at the different sharing permissions for both files and folders. For more resources, please check out my website, edtechinaction.com. 